This is Showtime Sean Porter. Exactly. This is Earl Smith Jr. Hey everyone, this is Jesse Vargas. And you're watching True School Sports. You're watching True School Sports. Right. And you're watching True School Sports. Stay tuned. Well, it's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. Zoro exposed by Bivol probably presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of Zoro exposed by Bivol's subscribers. Now, let's talk about this. Is, this is a follow up video to uh, one of the fights that took place on Showtime between Jason Rosario and Brian Mendoza. Brian Mendoza, uh, you know, put on a great virtuoso. Devastating performance. You know he's really made a name for himself at the, uh, you know, in in boxing now, beating a, a former unified champion and Jason Rosario, and he wants those big fights. He he he's called out a bunch of name fighters and hopefully he gets his fights down the line. But from the Jason Rosario side of things, I, I kind of touched on this on the live, like about the rise and fall of Jason Rosario and the and you know the rise the rise was amazing, and it was very short lived, and the fall has been very 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 sad to watch as a fight fan. Uh, particularly somebody here from South Florida who had a chance to kind of see Rosario train, and you know, I saw I saw a part of his career, but an important part of his career. Now, with that being said, with that being established here on True School Sports, a lot of people, myself included, looked at Rosario and we, we, we look at his durability or lack thereof in his fights, whether it be the Charlo fight, the Lumen fight, or the Mendoza fight, and we are at this point. It makes the, it makes the most sense to me and a lot of fight fans that Rosario should hang it up because uh, not because you know he can't fight but just because he can he he can dish it but he's been having a hard time taking it since 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 that Charlo fight um, and it looks like Rosario agrees because Rosario Benetta Rosario himself has stated that he is no longer going to be boxing he's hanging his gloves up and he's retiring from the sport for good so I have the quotes in front of me I'll read them I'll di and I'll dissect from there so he says he stated the following. And I quote, I think it's time to say goodbye. I'm not fighting anymore. I'm going to retire. I have accomplished a lot and it was good. But my career stops here. This, the most important thing is that I'm healthy. I feel bad that I couldn't give the Dominican people the result they hoped for. But I love you all and I thank you all for the support through the years. Now, there you have it. End quote. Uh, first and foremost, let me just say that it, that is the end of Jason Rosario's career. Let me just say from the bottom of my heart. Thank you to Banana Rosario for um, a splendid boxing career, a, a fun boxing career, a, a career where, yeah, he's lost some fights, a lot of fights by stoppage. He's, he's shown lack of durability, but he's, all, he's, all, he's also shown the ability to hurt people, uh, whether it be the, the, the magical night against Julian Williams, where he knocked him out the ring, or when he knocked out Jamonte Clark out the ring, uh, when he knocked Jamonte Clark out the ring. He, he's been, in, he's been a, a fun, entertaining fighter. That gave fans uh, what they wanted to see time in and time out again, um, you know. But again, the body can only take so much, and some fighters can take more than others. He looks like he just can't take it no more, and there's no shame in that because he's done something that he's he, he, no, matter, no matter what they say about Banana Rosario, he still got to to a point in his career where he was the unified champion of the world, and he was in a position to make good money and and, and be in important fights, and, and and hopefully for his sake, he's done right by himself and by his money and. Uh, he won't have to come back to this sport because he has to, but, you know, stay retired. Um, they mentioned the fact that, you know, he mentioned delivering for the Dominican people. Listen, this year for Dominican boxing has been absolutely amazing. And Jason Rosario is probably the first Dominican fighter to lose in a, in a significant television fight in a long, long time. So Dominican boxing is still flying on a high, but... They gotta build that winning streak back up. You know, he Jason Rosario couldn't keep it going. Brian Mendoza done popped the balloon of the Dominican boxing. So uh it is what it is, but you know, I've enjoyed his career. You know, it's it's, it's unfortunate that, you know, towards the like from so from the Charlo fight, from the Charlo fight to now, he's had a lot of instability in his career with, with trainers. Like, I don't know what the reasoning is for why he keeps going to different trainers, but like uh, he won the world title with uh, the guy who I, who I firmly believe is the best trainer he had, who, who who helped get him to the mountaintop, and that's none other than Luis Chiro Perez. Won, won, the, won the unified titles with him, beat Julian Williams with him, became unified champion, then lost the Charlo fight in an embarrassing fashion where he got knocked out and started having seizures with a jab to the stomach. Then he switched to Herman Caicedo for the uh, Eric Salubin fight. That ended badly for him, and then... 
Um, he got with uh, Chino, Chino Rivas, the Tevin Farmers trainer, and we saw how that ended with Brian Mendoza. So um, I don't know what the reasoning was for constantly switching trainers, but I also think that has a role to play with why his career went, went down so quickly because when you don't have that stability in your corner, how could you have this stability in the ring? You know, you got to have some sort of stability in the corner. Um, only a few fighters, because they're so damn great, can change trainer, trainers like, 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 like they change clothes and be great, like Oscar De La Hoya. You know, it's only a handful of guys like that. But, um, you know, again, that's neither here nor there. I tip my cap. I pay my respects. And I'm happy to have uh, covered and 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 watched the fights in the career of Jason Rosario. And I, and I wish him nothing but the best in the next phase, phase of his life. He will always have my respect here on True School Sports because every time Banana Rosario won in the ring... Uh, even if he didn't have it within him to take a bunch of punishment, he always went in there and fought with the best he had. And that's all you can do in life. You can only play with the with the chips you were dealt. And the way I see it, the way I see Jason Rosario is, we're in 2022 now where Dominican boxing has been on a high. Dominican boxing is flying higher than it's ever been. But guys like Jason Rosario, who won, who became unified champion in, in uh, what was it, 2020? 20, 20, 20? I think it was 2020. Got 2019 and 2020. When he beat Julian Williams a couple years ago and he became champion, Jason Rosario gave a lot of Dominican fighters hope. And I actually believe, this is this is my belief. I feel like all these fighters, like, you know, you see like Michelle Rivera, all these fighters, um, Pecky Luis Garcia, Edwin De Los Santos, um, all of them, you know, name them. Alberto Pueyo, all these guys that are champions and winning big fights as Dominican fighters. I feel like a lot of uh, a lot of the inspiration that they probably had a couple years ago was when they, was when they, when they were looking at Jason Rosario beating Julian Williams with the with the with the world titles held above his head proudly. You know, so uh, that to me that'll be his legacy in the sport. You know, that to me that that's how I look at his legacy in the sport. Um, but yeah, anyway, congrats to him. God bless. Take care, and um, yeah. Like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here. Boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God.